Ho that was close. I can't hear audio, by the way. That's right. Kill them robots. They're not you. It's always look too hard. Woo. Oh, this version of Zero doesn't have a uh, Mega Blaster or whatever? No, he has a gun. <laughs> no buster for him. He just has to stick with a gun. Yeah, the devs were like, nah, the cannon's too kid friendly. Let's go for the cunt. Let's go, let's give him a gun like Dante. DMC's popular. From what I understand, uh, apparently this version of Mega Man is the darkest timeline. Oh, it is because it involved like the war. Doesn't it also trans? Doesn't it also like go into Mega Man Legends' this timeline because of the apocalypse? Legends is essentially years upon years into the future. Like even so far, in fact, that. That um, Zero and Mega Man are not even known. Yeah, so this is the end of the. So this is before Legends, then. It's essentially the end of the X timeline. Like Mega Man 1 through X. Mega Man Original Classic to Zero. That's essentially the end of that timeline. And then World Ends and then Legends start, is suppo was supposed to start a new timeline, but then uh, Capcom's like, fuck Mega Man, right? Well, yeah, Legends. Yeah, Zero goes to Z. Oh, yeah, I forgot about ZX. Yeah, it goes from Zero to ZX, then Legend. Not uh, you. I love how Capcom single-handedly sabotage their own game and then blame the fans for it. No, it that's... a Legend 3. Well, here's the thing. They kind of just... For some reason, it. they thought it wouldn't sell. It would have sold. They just did it to themselves. Like, I don't know what, why Capcom had this idea in their head that, like, no one's going to buy Mega... I mean, I know why, because they made X go on way too long. That, and also... Cause, yeah, like, X went on for too long, along with Classic Mega Man. There's only there's a reason they only brought back Classic Mega Man recently. Fuck! They're like, no one's going to buy Mega Man Legends 3, and they, like, made this fucking web forum that people were supposed to, like, keep active, which they didn't. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, that's something that's Capcom's greatest blunder fucking up Mega Man hard. Yeah. I feel like if they were to go back, take the source code that they had from Mega Man Legends 3, and then put it in, like, let's say, Unreal 4 or 5. No, they probably put it in MT Frameworks. It's like their old engine. They used that for Mega Man 11. They can make something incredible out of it that... Yeah. The thing is, though, they Mega learned Man's their... bigger than it was. So. Yeah, here's the thing though. The devs learned their lesson with old school Mega Man. They don't want to milk it like milk off of it like before. They learned their lesson with that, and they know fully well they can't just milk games for all they're worth now because they realize that oh shit, if we milk it too long, we're gonna be spending too much money on games that probably won't sell. So fans want Legends Three, and they have not given. Funnily enough, I think Legends Three was gonna be on PlayStation. It was no, it's gonna be on 3DS. Huh. They had like a demo and everything, and like they never released the demo. That fans were supposed to get feedback on. Like, what the fuck is with them in that fucking era of Capcom? Just, like canceling Mega Man games left and right, and then firing Inafune. Yeah, no. Here's the thing. I think Inafune was the problem. I've set a coordinate access. Now you can return here only time you want. So please return to the base once you before you go any further. Please, Zero. How but, far are you into Mega Man Legend or Z or Zero Two? At the end. Like you would think that like Capcom would at least try again with Mega Man Legends Two, the Legends Three. Well, they are. I think they're just trying like to, like I said, they don't want to milk the series like before. Cause oh, we ever gonna play? Speaking of Capcom, we ever gonna play Phoenix Wright? On your end, yes, because I don't own the game. On my end. I don't own the game either. I only own the uh, old-timey ones. Even better. Visual novels, though. Which is 99% of that game. No, I don't like... No. Phoenix Wright is a point-and-click, which I will tolerate. Because you're actually doing shit. Well, yeah, it's a detective slash Danganronpa style them up. That's where Danganronpa got his bases from. Zero. I'm glad you're fine. Thank you very much for your effort. Please, just, just rest for a while. 
No, I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> can go back yeah, in. I'm currently on the second one. I'm gonna go back in dick first. Inifune Q was the smoking bullet. Yeah, I'm on the second Phoenix Wright Ace or Ace Adventures of Phoenix Wright game. Yeah, I can't wait for the Edgeworth games to come out. That's gonna be dope. We got Five Apollo Justice. Well, about uh, Edgeworth, I don't know though. You're about to go to the first area of New Arcadia. It's the Temple of Flame. You sure? Hell yeah. You need to be very, very careful. The last case of uh, the first one is fucking nuts. <laughs> Does first, it, uh, doesn't it involve attorney. Phoenix's mentor dying or some shit? No, no, no. The last case, that's the first, very first case of the, that's the second case of the first game. But the last case of the uh, first great Ace Attorney game is amazing. <laughs> that's to do with secret poison, a fucking conspiracy theory, a record player. Ah, it's great. It's also fucking long as dicks. Like, I feel like the cases in the 3DS versions are way longer than the initial DS ones. Like, holy shit. Well, yeah, they gotta, they gotta pad it, pad out the game somehow. Oh, I know. Oh, boy, this part sucks. I still love the witness for who turned out to be the murderer for the fourth case. And Great Ace Attorney, who, uh... Literally outs himself as being a fucking pervert to the entire courtroom immediately. Oh god. Fuck! I'm like, wow, I think I like this guy. And then you find out about a conspiracy for the second game, and that's how it goes in the second one. You know, be fucked up. Imagine. <laughs> Guarantee there's some fan fictions out there that have Phoenix Wright crossing over with Dead Rising, and it's just like. <laughs> Dead right taking the US government to court over the zombie documents. Yeah, really, it probably is. I mean, if it's a Capcom character, it's probably crossed over with something, hence Project Cross Zone. Slash Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, no! Yeah, I didn't know it was called Project Cross Zone until I played the demo. It's like, Project Cross Zone. I played that game, it's fun. If Japan doesn't have the letter X, they call it a cross. I never played the whole thing, and it sucks that it was digital only. You know what sucks about the eShop going down? No, it's not digital only. I bought it physically. No, there's a few 3DS games that are digital only, which makes my 3DS worth a lot of money because I have the Attack on Titan game that's physical or digital only in the US. With the only the Japanese dub, and not only that, like, the 3DS game just sucks. I mean, it was fun when you got the hang of it. It's online was pretty dope for the time. Yeah, but compared to like um, the uh, compared to the ones on console, those are just way better. Oh yeah, no doubt. But uh, what I'm saying is, it's exclusive to digital, and my 3DS is one of the few that still has has it in, the, in its fucking catalog. Yeah, I got a physical release in Japan, not over here though. Hey, hey zero. zero. You came along to get El Pizzo. I know you did. He is crazy about the Dark Elf. Leave that guy to Harpoo and have fun with me instead. Ha <laughs> Get ready for a fight! I have a gun with teeth on it. He's Mega Evolving! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, he actually Mega Evolved! Oh shit! Oh my god, he did! <laughs> oh, did you fight this guy before? He didn't have this though. What the hell, dude? You're supposed to be like the guy that's like Itachi, like like um, Kenpachi from Bleach. Why are you doing this? Wait, so is this just like a boss rush where all the bosses evolve? Yeah. See, that's a cool concept. Should make a game to do that more often. Because oftentimes the boss rush, when I mean, you know what they're weak to, you just end up kicking all their asses again in three seconds. And it kind of makes the boss rush pointless. He's gotta look too hard, he's gotta dodge his attacks pretty much. What the fuck was- Wait, what the- Oh, he has a hyper mode. 
The crackhead mode, yeah. We had to like pay to play, it was interesting. I never played them, that's like even before my time. This is like early computing, like the 80s. Did he just not stop me? Is he just gonna keep firing fire at you? Yeah. He's like that dragon dude from uh, Mega Man 1. I love how Wily just makes a giant dragon robot for absolutely no reason. There we go. That was surprisingly easy. Like, I only died once. That's like... Jesus. Flame chip next. Be wary of spikes. Um... Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. The, are these insta-kill spikes? Yep. Oh, oh, no. I feel like that's just Mega Man tradition at this point. Oh, no. What? It's an ice level. <laughs> oh, have fun with that. Where's the popcorn? Yeah, penguins are piscivores. These fish are just I was missing. Right. What the hell? I was right, Google. Suck my metaphorical dick. Um, what's the point of the... Is, are the... What? Is this it? Is what it? This platform. All those spikes for nothing. <laughs> Not the spikes. I think those fish are... I think those fish... Oh, thank God there was a checkpoint there. 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 Immediately falls on spikes. Thank God. All these spikes for nothing. Immediately falls on spikes. Dude, I was like, I am Jesus. job, asshole. Dude, in my head, I'm like, I am Jesus. Only just suddenly fall into spikes. All these spikes for nothing. I'm getting spikes. I like how Zero's VA from like all the way from Mega Man 7 and 8. Um, he's, he's, he's aware of the, how much Zero loves his voices. He's aware how much his voice is used as Zero and he loves it. So, like, every chance he gets... Be aware he, of the whole, what am I fighting for? Oh, he's fully aware. And the thing is, though, they redubbed, <laughs> when they remastered X4, they were considering having his voice and, like, all the X8 actors reprise their roles for, yeah. um, the X4 port. But then, for some reason, they never used it, and I'm like, bro, why? Was he gonna do the whole? Cr was he gonna do it cringy on purpose if they did? Yeah, like look it up. Um, Mega Man. I think. Uh, what am I fighting for comparison? Because there's like a bunch of versions. Like, um, there's the original English dub, which was absolute god garbage. There's the redub, which is with the current X8 actors, and then there's the one with uh, John Young Bosch. So they never use the redub voices. No. I'm assuming you can mod it in, though. Oh, you can. They're in the files. <laughs> it's just a question of why they didn't use it. I think it was for nostalgia reasons. Oh, it's you! Hey, your bitch is here. Does this bitch just come back in every game? Oh, yeah, I do voice this bitch! <laughs> did I do the thing? <laughs> I did do the thing. I'm waiting for you. I was waiting for you, Zero. How to do, bitch. I guess... Fenfear's disease infected me. A oh, Fenfear? Once I started thinking of you, bitch, I couldn't stop caring about you, fucking asshole. The Dark Elf. Even if this world is somehow fucking destroyed, I'll be fucking happy as long as I can fucking defeat you, bitch. Oh, me. No cap, mega fucker. What? I'm eating. Mega evolve. Why the fuck does she say wait before she fights you? Well, she's saying to wait for her to power up. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I were gonna fight this bitch in real life, I'd hit her before she says that. Oh, 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 boy. Where are you? So does she just come back in every game just Ooh, to freaking Ooh, you? Those are water dragons. Oh. How the hell did she use water dragon jutsu? She doesn't even have the shari gun. And she goes manta ray, yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah, you're still technically fighting in water. Technically frozen water. Listen, sir, it's water. We're the only country in the world that uses Fahrenheit to measure temperature. Oh, screw those water dragons! <laughs> like, would you say her base form's sexy? Not exactly. Exactly what? About her look. Like, this form looks like ass, but her base form's awesome. Man. Yeah. Like, I would totally hit that. <laughs> Provided she is of legal robot consenting age. Oh, those. This ice doesn't make it any easier! And I got Mountain Dew. Now, that is the American way to eat pizza. Now, if you would have said he had a Coke, oh, man. That Here's is the over American it. american again. It. <coughs> Here's the problem. Mountain Dew and Little Caesars do not mix well. Because you're going to be on the shitter for a hot minute. Did you hear that story about that school? Me and my brother were talking about this. That, Or were we talking about this the other day? That served uh, waffles and watermelon or whatever? No, we never talked about that. Black History Month? No. And all the parents got pissed. <laughs> so there would have been actual voice acting on the Game Boy, which is a rarity. Because the Game Boy was essentially, or the Game Boy Advance was essentially a portable SNES, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the idea. Yeah. I mean, I had one, so that's what it essentially was. Except it was able to do way more than the SNES was ever even capable of. Here's the problem. Um, some games were just too good for the Game Boy, as in, like, for sprites, they looked way too good. I mean, look at what the fuck. I mean, for God's sakes, Pokemon Emerald was able to achieve reflections, which is something the SNES can never do. Oh, it's, like, amazing. It's a Pokemon on the GBA was a technical fucking marvel. And now it looks like shit. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Dead. There we go. Hell yeah. Way harder than it needed to be. My Murbay, no! Fuck your Murbay. Not my Murbay! My mom's finally starting to question politics, which is interesting. Huh? My mom is finally starting to question politics, which is interesting. Oh, look at that. Alright, your dialogue, brother. <laughs> uh, I'm getting worse than ever. This is fucking terrible. The only thing I can take seriously in this bitch is fighting with you. And still you lost. She's like just a rival, isn't she? But I'm fucking happy. Yeah, pretty much. I'll keep going. Dreaming that I can destroy you someday. Some way, some how. See you soon, bitch! Considering how short these games are, my and the thing is, uh, the time, there was a time skip between zero one and zero two by a year. So that means zero has just sort of been roaming for a year. I'm still coordinate access. Now you can return here anytime you want. So please, return to the base once. At, at once, please, zero. I like how she's like worried that zero is like going too far, but here's the thing, I'm trying to speed run this shit. Yeah. I love the uh epic rap battle Joko. I I took one from I took one what was it? I died from a disease no one knew existed. I took one for both I didn't leave a mark on history, I French kissed it. <laughs> Dude, if Freddie Mercury was still alive, he'd be fucking amazing. Oh, he would. He seems like a really chill dude. 
Oh, he was the most epic gay man in history. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I feel like he'd be on the forefront of like LGB rights and shit. Oh wait, he was gay? Yeah. Oh shit. How do you think he got AIDS? <laughs> okay, okay. I know, but it's true. That is a bit. That was a yikes right there, buddy. What's a yikes? Well, you just said, how do you think he got AIDS? Well, we know better now, but that's more than likely how he got it. Being gay? We didn't know AIDS was a thing. Here's the thing with AIDS. We didn't know it was a thing in the 80s when he died from it. We only discovered it later, and we discovered that one of the ways to, that... We discovered it was, like, really prominent in, like, the gay community, but it wasn't exactly... It wasn't just the gay community spreading AIDS. Literally. I'm going to get off this topic immediately before it gets heated. Yeah, you, you're gonna get off. You're gonna want to get off of that. It, the SNES game is one of the best Mega Man's because the um, X4 through 8 are a bit iffy. X8 is the decent from the later quadrilogy. Like X4 is considered still really good. X5 is a bit meh. X6 everyone hates. Oh, Harpuya. Who is this? X from the uh, zero from the first game? Nope. <laughs> oh, you've made it here at last, last zero. Is this the big bad of this particular game? Yep. Look, this is the Dark Elf. Perfect Cyber Elf to bring peace to this world. <laughs> it will not be long before I can get rid of all the humans who waste our valuable energy and destroy New Arcadia, which protects them. All I have to do is destroy X, who has been interfering with the true revival of Doc Elf, the bastard. Oh, that's X in front of you? No. I won't let that happen. You could still say such a thing? Oh, okay. Be a good boy and sleep. <laughs> oh, you must know your own worth. You regret that you haven't shown any respect for me. And I am so much more than you. I will cry a power that no one can match. I'm fucking invincible! My. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. Time to wake the dark elf up. Let's celebrate the new history of the world. Why don't you enjoy yourselves? Well then, enjoy. <laughs> Louis, I got evil things to do. Oh, fuck. Um. He's go- He's mega evolving. Ah, that's uh, not good. Zero. Finish me. Just. Oh, he put the dark elf in him. I'll, I will. Soon we controlled by baby elf. By baby elf. Finish me now. And stop him. <laughs> oh, so that's what happened with everyone else. Oh, he became a bird. Transformers. <laughs> Robots in disguise. Fuck it becomes a transformer. What the f I barely realized what I was Just seeing. What the Immediate hell? destruction. The fact that they were able to put zero four games on the Game Boy in one in like four years is crazy. <gasps> yeah. At least I know the others would do damage. I feel like these didn't take too long to make. Probably like three months per game. They released them every year, so... Because they were annual releases for Zero. So probably from the Game Boy Advance Inception, so like 2002 to 2000... Yeah, 2002 to like 2006. Yeah. And then they made the ZX games for DS, which are basically Metroidvanias.
What I did notice, though, is that the level design started changing to be more fair in this game. Yeah, they got a better level designer. Yeah, Anti creates French to figure out their shit. You know what I'd like to stream, but it wouldn't work for a stream just because of the way the game works? Yeah. Game Dev Tycoon. Oh, yeah. Why is there an emoji from like, right in front of where I need to read chat? <laughs> oh, I got cat in my lungs or something. Quirk, I need to brush Oh, I you. forgot to equip ice. Fuck. I equipped ice immediately. Oh, there's only four different elements in this game. Three. So they just try to make a bear of bones of like Mega Man for these to fit it on the Game Boy. Yeah. I mean, it works. They were able to pump out four of these bitches. And then two on the DS, which... ZX3 was in development, but then it got cancelled. Because Capcom. Listen, I know... So why was Keiji Inafune just considered toxic later on? Like, what did he do so bad? He was the reason Capcom was struggling, essentially, in the 2010s. Oh, uh, is he the one who led the Western push? Yeah. They can't blame him for that. That was a bad move on the company's part of the whole, though. Like, you gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah, but the thing is, though... Yeah, they blamed one guy... Is it because he was acting CEO, essentially, at the time? He had a lot of influence in the company. A lot, a lot of influence. Because he's been with it for a long, long time. And, there's a re and he's the reason Mega Man went as long as it did. Not only that... And Ian, it was also the beginning of... How do I say this? You ever heard of Mighty Number no. 9? Oh, yeah, Cancer. I heard of Cancer. No, I know what Mighty Number no. 9 is. Like an anime school... Like, like an anime fan I'm from, like... Yeah, hell. blame him. That brought that game the meme status. Blame him. I feel like... Customer, I feel like so many people just canceled their pre-orders after that one. That and the game was just ooh. For even for Mega Man standards, this game was every unbalanced. Every time I see game, oh, and the game was laggy as fuck. Every time I see gameplay of it, it just looks like it's a mess. Like even He's for a weird ass 2.5D engine. And even then, the physics are just super weird. The game was just not polished. Listen, you don't owe it just because most modern like 2D platforms are 2.5D doesn't mean you have to do that. Stick with what you know, dumbass. Yeah, which is why um, you ever heard of Mighty Gunvolt, which is like a se sort of a spiritual sequel. It's leagues better. <laughs> no, was it made by the same guy? It was made in collaboration with Inafune's company. Of course, it was. Has Inafune's company done anything else since then? I don't know. <laughs> I the only know. indie game, or the only small company I've been keeping tabs on lately is 2Q Studios, who make anime and games, or the guys who did Danganronpa. Also, if you want a voice, we can try it now. Alright. Protect. <laughs> Protect Monster X and the world from him. I understand. Leave it to me. Also, your refrigerator's running. No, it's not. I checked it. Damn it. He just dies. <laughs> I knew I'd never get anybody with that. and just dies. I like it when you cut someone with the X-Saber. It actually shows, like, the burnt, like, burnt metal inside them. It's a lightsaber. What do you expect? I know, but a lot of the... It's, like, one of the few games I've seen where it actually shows, like, especially the enemy, the, like, exploding, like, after era. you cut them. Usually they just, like, go, boom, in the light. Especially from this era, too, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing. Inti Creates has a hell of a character artist. I think they've stayed with them for years now. I think they're even do they even uh, did Gunvolt, which I do own. I want to stream Gunvolt someday. Oh, yeah, I've seen footage of Gunvolt. It's very arcadey compared to the... the oh, I got Master it. Pizzo and Master Dark Elf. The new world is ready to start. What was your weakness? I'm going to fucking kill you! What was your weakness, jackass? Uh, not being insulted by you? Jesus, man. Oh, I think you reached the ice. What's that? Do abilities carry over from game to game for this series? 
Not exactly. Considering they're cartridge based, I assume not. I feel like that would have been a cool gimmick to add to this and like have a new game plus mode essentially if it was a remake. There is a new game plus mode actually. Oh, there is. I'm assuming abilities carry over to that. Yeah. So I never finish new game plus modes in games. Where? Where am I? El Piso came. And the baby elf came. What am I doing? I need to explode now. Piss. Rest in pepperoni. <laughs> Wait, is there only three bosses? Whoa, Master El Piso. Master Dark Elf. The new world is ready. I eat way too much KFC. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I am a fat ass bear. Oh, bear shit. fat ass cannon! I mean ice ball! Yeah that. Oh my god, you're just fucking it up. What did this bear do deserve this treatment? Everything. I mean yeah, but. <laughs> He just vomits a ton of KFC. Where is El Piso? What? What? What am I doing? So hot. Oh. I explode now. Oh no, not you! No! <laughs> that bitch! With the com combination of Master Adepto and Master Dark Elf, the new world's fucking ready to begin! Sorry, I had to. What are you weak to electricity? I was already midway in just letting that out. I mean, you know half the reason you bring me here is for voice acting, right? Yeah. Wait, why is a fire enemy weak to electricity? Wouldn't it be ice? Cool design, though. Wait, does this thing have armor or something? No, no you're just a pain in my ass. At least it doesn't have seven health bars. And death! Oh, not death. The only problem with this jackass is that he keeps moving around. If we beat this boss, I want to see leprechauns in chat. <laughs> I forget what more Moreo means. Moreo. Useless. I love that each boss just spit random Japanese over and over again. I know Kiriaru, I think, means bastard. Fuck! Or no, it means fool, Kiriaru. They seem chill like that. Whoop. I remember one of them got super mad. Uh, the guy who actually voices Kron got super mad because uh, they were at Anime Expo, and I might tell you after this fight because you're like you're deep in attention. Or you want me to keep talking? You keep talking. All right, so they were at Anime Expo, and there's like a weird rule with Anime Expo that like even if it's like usually at most conventions, fan merchandise is allowed because it's considered fair use or whatever. For some reason. Um, the company who made Dragon Ball decided to, or Toei, which they usually have a good relationship, decided to, like, make them pull some of their shirts because they were, said they were in copyright violation, which is pretty stupid. Toei's just like that. It, but you know how many artists do custom anime art at events? See, he doesn't look like he does a lot of damage, he just looks like a pain in the ass to hit. Is that his gimmick? Yeah, that's his gimmick. His whole gimmick is that he teleports. And it's so annoying. Yeah. 
Dude, I would just use regular shots because it looks like the charge shots are too slow to hit. They're not too slow to hit. It's literally coded for him to teleport the moment the bullet comes close. Really? Yeah, it's coded that way to basically just say, Oh yeah, you, your bullet's gonna miss no matter what you do, so you might as well just keep smat. So you, so you essentially have to spam or hit him when he does the uh, multi-technique. There we go. Wow! <laughs> that boss is some bullshit. Uh, like, it can't fucking be yo. By the way, did you kill my sister, mermaid bitch? Yeah. I didn't think my heart could be checked by them. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I gotta blow the fuck up now. Foolish! Bye bye. No he one's just gonna miss you. He blows up with a giant rainbow explosion. He's no gay. one's gonna miss you. You can also cover on Friday. Cassette beast, because I'm still in the beginning yeah. of that. <sighs> Fuck is that jump? It's so weird. You gotta like angle yourself just right and the Cassette beast is interesting. It's like Pokemon and like Dragon Ball Fusions at a baby. Because you essentially fight like a normal Pokemon game to boost your like fusion meter, right? Yeah. And then you can fuse into this like hyper ass, like strong ass, like monster. And there's over and there's hundreds of different combinations, and it's crazy. It's also all music themed. Of course. I mean, it's in the and of course right? I pick I picked the punk rock starter because of course I did. I like light. how punk rock is slowly coming back. Oh, I love it. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I think the worst level Mega Man ever created was the- I don't remember which Mega Man it was in, but it was like oh, that level with the electrified oh. floor. Oh, no! Greatest thing ever is ready to- Wanna voice the other one? Awaken! Another chapter in our glorious history begins. Master Alpazo forever! Let's go, little brother. Yes, brother. Let's kill them. Oh, oh, I love that voice so much. Fuck these you guys. Don't punch just, like flubbing lines or anything like that. You know what I mean? Oh, the two v one. Hold it to ice. Okay, cool. I don't know. You oh, it's like a weird trap thing to make you think one's weak to the other. Yeah, that's why I think. It, that's what I assume. I think your opponent would kill you by the time you get all the cards out that you needed. Unless you're playing against a classic player. Have I got like a single screen in the last four days about bringing up Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, it still does that attack animation even when it's technically dead. What? Oh, wait, they oh, have to bump into each other? Yeah, the, I think they're, that's their last last hurrah. If they can it hit... can't be! Oh, wait. Were you the right guy? Manipulated. Yeah, I was the red guy. So Okay, that's just bullshit. So it's like, fuck it, we have zero HP or we're taking you down with us. That's oh, that's bullshit. their gimmick. That's Yeah, that's their gimmick. Oh, that's such bullshit. Ugh. Now why am I exploding? You're the one who died first, dipshit! <laughs> oh, it's you! Black Panther fucker! Wakanda forever! Look, he's even doing the X mark. <laughs> he is! <laughs> he, predict he predicted Black Panther. I could do a voice for this guy, but it'd come out as super racist. Do it. It'd be funny. No! Dude, I don't want to get cancelled. The greatest thing ever will soon awaken in this You're world. doing the same thing I was going to do. Master El Pizzo forever. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you did the same thing I was going to do. You took him that really bullshit South African accent. Man. And I gave him a fucking Jamaican accent instead of Hawaiian. And I only realized it after we finished recording. What? It can't be. Hey. What am I doing? Oh. Wakanda forever! <laughs> what the fuck is Wakanda? <laughs> <laughs> I know chat heard that. <laughs> Dude, I always... 
I have the art of making you laugh by just throwing in a random ass joke you're not expecting. Dude, I did the clicking sound with my mouth. <laughs> so as the name is. You like... did? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, it's so fucking racist. <laughs> it's so fucking racist, bro. I know. It's so fucking racist. <laughs> yeah. But I still want to go through it just for shits and giggles. Here's what we could do. We could play like an hour Persona 1 maybe, just to get our help get ourselves through it and then do like an hour Persona 2. Yeah. Have a good I think that's honestly the best compromise. Oh, that thing landed on my... Wait a minute, how... Wait, hold a second. That book... That thing looks familiar. Why does it summon Caterpies from Pokemon? What the it, fuck? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I knew I should have brought Metapods and not Caterpies. That bug trainer lied. I have such fun with this. Oh my God, you just cut his ass right in half. <laughs> I know. Metal as fuck, right? All right, Literally. this is me. Yeah. Rip it. Where am I? What am I? Where's my weed? No. <laughs> you cut off. <laughs> I did. You cut off as you say no. <laughs> no. Because I was losing the voice. No, I think, you just, I think your no. mic just cut out, bro. <laughs> Dude, this mic is, uh, for a new mic, it's very temperamental. It's, it's very iffy. Oh. Oh. Wait. I used to use a uh, full blue Yeti, but that broke on me, so I have this thing. You should get what I have—a five nine or a five five. I might. That's like dirt. Oh, how do I do this? Mm. Tall. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for you, Zero. Nothing is worse than having a show that no one comes to watch. Once You're the guy who put the Robo in front of me. I will be invincible. Wait, so did he just put his Robot Masters in front of you knowing that you killed him? Yeah. What a douchebag. No, actually, he doesn't even control him. They were trying to kill him. He wasn't yeah. controlling them. He was trying to fight him. Oh. Or they were trying to get to him, but they couldn't because he stopped them. Or are these the elves? Won't let that happen. What the? Why is every single Mega Man weak to that fucking lightning field thing? <laughs> Thank you for coming to my show. But for that, this is the real retirement of your friend. <laughs> Time to meet your index. And release the Dark Health. Yeah, doesn't Mega Man X essentially become a corrupted... No, he becomes... Uh, he's just a dude. Boy. He's just a dude that just wants to live in peace. That's essentially what happens. He just wants to live in peace. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, so this guy's not going to fight. He's going to use his lackey to fight us. No, he's gonna. <laughs> I did it! I did it at last! I terminated the legendary hero! I destroyed X at last! Comes behind him and kills him. Haha, <laughs> bitch! Whoa! Oh, so when, this is when X died. X has been dead. His original body has been um, destroyed Chilling. for a while. Yeah. When did he uh, die, X8? Uh, in between Zero and the end of X. I am roiding out! 
Wow, talking about robo steroids. He's, he's mega evolving. Oh god, he's mega evolving. Quick, someone take his keystone. Mega Man X Zero by uh, continuously mega evolve. Zero Knight. Sorry, I have to kept you waiting, Zero. I'm going to terminate you. Destroy all in your Arcadia and exterminate all human beings. What do you say? A world without humans. A world only for reploids. Don't you think it will be paradise? I love how humans became like the uh, less dominant species. That's just the way it's been for years now. Or essentially the endangered species. <laughs> okay, what are you... Don't try to parry me, you asshole! You have buddies?! That's not fair! Oh, what's fair? Is that the max health you can get in this? What the hell? You grind for more. Raise your health in there is. That's nasty! That is bullshit! That's what that is! this time third That's... form engage here's the thing i was just being patient this time a new form has awakened the proto form has become available <laughs> i thought it hit the boss i'm like oh jesus christ thank you zero thank you for stopping me you saved me i almost did something that can't be forgiven. Thank you so much. I almost smoked all that meth. I was so weak-minded. I was so pathetic. Accepting your failures in life is a very difficult thing. I think I'll become a little stronger. From this lesson, time to say goodbye, Zero. Tell Ciel. I'm sorry. Oh, is he her brother? No, she was a really close friend with him. Oh, yeah, wasn't he in, like, the original, like, Rebel Squad or whatever? Me? Me! I 
feel warm. Uh, uh, he didn't explode like the others. He became an elf. I'm assuming his power goes to New Game Plus. It appears that she saved me. She is not evil after all. Thank you, Zero. And goodbye. What the? Z Zero? Huh? What the? I think another elf is still corrupting. No, it's a dark elf. Huh? AX! She wasn't always called the dark elf. She was born, she had a mission to save the world. And had another name. However, when her ability became a threat of the world's the threat of the world destruction with destruction, what? they had to call her the dark. I think that's a threat of world destruction. I got it. Now. I think that's a yeah, a dark. We're both so tired we forgot how to read. Since someone called Doctor Weil placed a cur. Wait, what? Wiley put a curse on her. Oh, I know how this goes from, like, the death battles. I... I feel that. I feel like I know her. I think when Dr. Wily made Zero, he essentially implanted, like, a virus into Zero that would fuck up Mother Elf. Dark... Elf? Or X, my bad. He made X. Or no, Wily made Zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was a cliffhanger they leave you on. Yeah, um, apparently you're not alone. Because when I was looking up Reddit for like the weakness, apparently people were like, yeah, the ending is very underwhelming. But yeah. Correct you. That's zero two, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Inafune had like nothing to do with this one. Yeah, he was very, he was very, he was doing some other stuff. Like, for example, Dead Rising. <laughs> Thanks, Toro Nakayama. Good job, Messiah Suzuki. I don't know who the fuck you people are. Dude, Tori Nakayama's art 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 is amazing. I know. <laughs> oh yeah. God, the jank to these credits. They're like moving at like ten frames a second. Yeah, because they were obviously meant for a GBA. <laughs> they weren't meant for this scroll speed. Didn't they I, bump up this frame, the frame rate of these? I think I know the version we're using. I think I know which one. I think we're using the DS port. Yanni Gisawa. Oh, there was a DS port of this game? I th Yeah, there was a... Before the, this collection was made, there was a previous collection for the DS that was already made. Which I'm assuming was only released in Japan. No, it came out in the West too. Next one is what? Oh, so they essentially just took that and put it in over here. Yeah, I think they put the DS versions because I look at I compared the two and there's like different fonts. Oh no, they have to fuck with the code to remove the touchscreen stuff. No, there was no touchscreen stuff. Wait, how are they gonna do ZX when there's touchscreen? Is there just gonna be a second screen over there? That's my guess. They pro that's probably why the port took a while, because of the fact that they're trying to get the ZX ports working. Because those were DS games. That's the problem with porting DS stuff, and Wii stuff as well. Because you have to worry about how the motion controls work. Yeah, not only that, you essentially have to remake the game from the ground up, essentially. Probably why they haven't ported Pokemon Battle Revolution, even though that'd be pretty dope for the port. A lot of people still play that. Like, Nintendo would be smart to port that. 
They can easily port it to the Switch, because the Switch has motion controls. Which everyone forgets. Shockingly right. Like, here's the thing with the Switch. Nintendo put all their eggs in one basket. And people forgot about some of those eggs, and they kind of spoiled. Yeah. Like, I think Nintendo's the only one who makes mo games with motion controls for the Switch. There's KG Inafune! <laughs> there I is. produced this thing. In other words, my name's on it, so I get money. Yes, I totally won't get fired ten years from now. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laying me off? What did I do? You tried to push us to the west. Yeah, but that's where all the money is. Our games are shit now. Arigato for playing. Well, that was Mega Man Zero Two. Oh! Oh, another cliffhanger. It's, it seems the Dark Elf has awakened. <laughs> the time has come for you to take action, Omega. Oh, Omega Man. <laughs> it's not over yet. To play the hard play mode, hard. Save... <laughs> Fuck that. No. No hard no, mode. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe if we revive JRPG Torture, which is never going to happen. Well, here's the thing. The JRPG Torture just became my lo Tuesday and Thursdays, essentially. Dude, I still have the keys to that channel. So shockingly, right? <laughs> All right, all right, chat. Okay, to save, yes. Data has uh, been saved. Oh yeah, cause that was the one who made it. Uh, yeah. All right, chat. Well, that was zero two. I've been wanting to get this game off my chest for a while now because I've been putting it off for streaming, and I, I figured, you know what? Might as well just let it bring it here and finish this off. I need one more part, anyways. And uh, yeah. Thanks for y'all, for those that joined the stream all the way through. I'm glad you guys were... Damn, that the recording was 12 minutes. <laughs> nice. The new recording, so I could just add it in. But, yeah. We're glad you didn't help. Yeah. So, essentially, guys, if you guys enjoyed the stream, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, for those that are here still, that made it all the way through, I really appreciate it, you guys, for doing that. Go sub to this man as well. Uh, Don't well, fall any my shit. Japan number 79. I finally fixed my TikTok. Yay! Anyway. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to bed. It's 1 in the morning. I need to wake up early. And uh, 2 in the morning, you pussy. It's <laughs> on your end. I know. I'm fucking with you. And uh, for those watching after the stream and watching the VOD itself, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. I would really appreciate it. 150 subs are going to do a special live stream. I think I might do like I think I might do a, um, a, a special live stream every 50 subs. That's probably the yeah, best. but then it becomes unspecial. You might want to do fifty, then a hundred. You know, yeah, like that it, flow the, through. Like the more, the bigger the number, the more I should increase, right? Mhm. Mm yeah, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Like the video because I'll show the algorithm that you like my stuff, and comment because I want to see what your guys' opinions are of me being a shitter at this game. And uh, well, see y'all on Friday on this man's channel. See ya. We'll be streaming some more Pokemon Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke Friday, bitches, at JapanLover79 at YouTube.com. We'll try not to.